The Sedevlo Passion Play was absolutely fascinating and also very spiritual. First and foremost, the faith of the people in this little village outside of Torino is unbelievable. And when you sit there and see Jesus entry into Jerusalem with the palms, and then you begin to watch as we gather for that Last Supper, and then the noontime on Good Friday, followed by his crucifixion. But then the glory of Easter is going to be there again. And I witnessed that passion in a way that I will never ever be able to forget it because of the magnificent actors and actresses of this faithful town. And I wrote home today uh, to my daughter and my son to tell them what, how blessed I felt to be able to, um, to experience this and that in 2015 I would hope that we could come as a family. You just, it brings to life the passion and if, if it means something to you in your life, it's something that you don't want to miss. Hi, my name is Fred Berardo, president of Central Holidays. I'm here at the stage of the Passion of Christ in Sordevolo, Italy. This fantastic and emotional event I just attended for my first time, and I invite you to join us in 2015. This is a very special play because the actors are not professional actors, but it's the people from Sordevolo that act. And the text uh, of the Passion is a text from the 15th century, and they played this text in Sordevolo uh, starting from uh, the 19th century. I can't believe, as someone in the business of religious education, that I hadn't heard of this because 40 years ago I'd gone to Germany and experienced the Passion Play there. And I thought, wow, Italy, how come I didn't know about this? But um, this was beautifully done. It was nothing like my experience in Germany. Um, it had its own flavor. The language was just so beautiful. The scenery, the costumes. Wow, I've seen the horses come in. And the way they did the uh, Herod with the beautiful ballet. and the, It was just an extremely moving, um, spiritual experience for me. This was something that it brought me to tears. Um, you can follow it because the emotions of Mary. Uh, I'm a mother, and when she was with her son, it just hit me right here in my heart. I viewed Mary as Mary, the mother of Jesus. And when I saw Jesus on the cross, it was like it was Jesus for me. And Peter and Pilate. There were some scenes that uh, really struck me about Jesus uh, that made me think and made me uh, have a deeper appreciation that he could go through what he did and continue to do it in the full human sense. I was very moved by the play, I really was. I, uh, I, you know, being a priest, we go through the, the passion every year at the parish, uh, we, we talk about it, but when you see it played out, and played out by actors who have such a strong belief, uh, that was extremely impressive. Uh, we're not talking about you know professional actors. We're talking about family members. You had mother, father, son. You had the grandmothers. You had the mothers. They acted from their heart. Not being professional, they they told us if you want to do it good, try to feel it into your heart. Try to put yourself in that situation and try just to give all yourself. And I think another good thing is just one village getting back all together as a team, helping each other. If I give my best, I can reach this level. If somebody else do it, can do the same. But together we can go higher, I think. And that's, uh, that's our strength. Well, that was exactly it. When you 
entered the town, the first thing you saw were, were people just all over the place, ready to go, ready to, to take their roles and do it. And, and you kind of got the realization right away that it was it, the whole place was involved. It was like something that obviously brought the whole town together. And they were very proud of it, and they were very happy that we were there to be with them. Well, suddenly I, I, I saw the, the unity of the, of the town. I think that's clear. They're just like a big family. They all know one another. It's incredible. There's only 1,300 people. There's two groups, 400 people in a group. So that means almost everybody that can do anything is in it, including the children, the babies. So it's really a family affair, a whole town working together. But I, I thought it was a wonderful event and uh, I highly recommend it. Piemont is in the northwest of Italy, close to the border with France and Switzerland, where the plain finish and the Alps begin. So it's a special region because it can offer many different opportunities. You can combine your special interest, religious tour, cultural itineraries, wonderful ski in the Alps with the best Italian food and the best Italian wines. That's why I think that Piedmont is a region to be discovered and you will enjoy it. The food was amazing. The wines that I tasted, um, the culture of the people that are here, uh, the spiritual aspect, not just of the play, but of the sanctuaries that we serve, the serenity that I experienced here was something that I, I didn't know that was going to happen. I'd never been to this area, I didn't know what to expect, I came for the passion, but what I got was so much more. It's a find, you know, it's an area that people must come to see. Uh, if you put together a spiritual program or whether you're just coming from the tourist standpoint, you've got the architecture, you've got the wine region, it's just, it's second to none. I've been to several regions in Italy, and uh, of course Italy is a beautiful country, that's why it's such a popular destination for people from all over the world. And one of the things I liked the most about the Piedmonte region was uh, how unspoiled it was and how completely different it was from other regions that I visited before, especially the people. They are always very kind and happy to welcome American people and foreign people because everybody in Biella uh, loves to live there. So when they see people from uh, other countries come, they are so happy because they see that also other people appreciate it. Welcome. Benvenuti. First of all, Torino has been the first capital of Italy. The Savoy family was here, ruling for 1,000 years. So we have a variety of castles belonging to the family. We can say that Torino is a beautiful town uh, with a lot of uh, interesting buildings, monuments and palaces, art and history and museums. We have about 30 museums. And not only that, from Torino you can easily reach the Langhe region. There are so many small villages all around on the peak of the hills, villages that are dotted with medieval towers, castles, old churches. And uh, this region is the perfect soil for the vineyards. In the Langhe region we produce mostly the big red, red wines like Barolo Barbaresco uh, from the grape of Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo is also well-known red wines. I've tasted several wines during my stay here and the white is, is incredibly good but also the reds are very, very good. Their food was absolutely unbelievable, not like any other region in Italy. It's a whole different gastronomic experience. Another reason to come to visit Biella is the Europa, that is the biggest sanctuary of the Alps, and here is worshipped a statue of a black Madonna uh, that was made in the 13th century. I really enjoyed staying there, I really did, because you can go back you know, you still have that sense that you have leaving the Passion Play during the next day. You know, it carries on. It, it, that place resonates the presence of God. The Agora Hotel, I thought, was outstanding. I mean, the quality of the rooms, the linens. And that was a really four-star hotel that would be acceptable anywhere in the world. In addition to that, obviously, you have the option of living on the top of the mountain, which is very special. I would love to come back at another time. It was fabulous and unlike anything else I've experienced anywhere else in Italy.
So definitely it's a great experience for every Christian to relive the life of the Passion Week. I had a great time and it touched my heart and I wish my family and many of my parish and my church will come to just watch this show next time in five years. I am thrilled that I had this opportunity. Truly a gift from God and I hope that I can share the message and spread the good news because that's what the Passion Play is. And that's a good thing. For over 40 years, Central Holidays has helped travelers discover spiritually inspiring destinations throughout Europe and the Mediterranean. Our remarkable religious tours and pilgrimages will have you visit sacred sites and attend events that will strengthen your faith while giving you the opportunity to experience other cultures. With Central Holidays, you can treasure the mystical character of Assisi. Make a humbling and inspiring pilgrimage to Fatima in Portugal, Lourdes in France, Santiago de Compostela in Spain, or follow in the footsteps of St. Paul through the natural beauty and rich history of Greece and Turkey. And by focusing our expertise on key destinations, Central Holidays can deliver the quality, value and flexibility you look for when booking a faith-based vacation. Share and strengthen your faith through some of the world's greatest religious sites and events. Let Central Holidays destination specialists assist you in planning your visit to the Holy Land, Italy, and beyond.